Hello and welcome. I am the Suntai Dip and Chew Guy and this is an experiment. This is the extra content that I mentioned on the community page, I guess yesterday maybe. So this is an open-ended experiment though because for this one to play out, it's going to take some time. So hopefully we're all still here in five years because that is the closest in the timeline that part of this experiment will resolve itself. So, this is a plastic jar, tub, however you want to call it. It's full of things. So, that is a moisture absorber uh, in Tyvek, which is sort of funny. The stuff they wrap houses in before they put siding up, yeah. It actually feels like it too because I'm familiar with this stuff. So that's all that is. This is what the experiment is about though. That is a can, somewhat obviously, of Stokers, straight. And it is in a food saver bag. What is a food saver bag? For those that don't know what a food saver bag is, a lot of you probably will, I'm guessing. Um, it is uh, the, the vacuum machine uh, that you, you, you cut a length of bag, seal the one end with heat, and then you put the other, you fill the bag with food, and then you put the other end back in the machine that you just sealed the one end with and it sucks all the air out. So what you have here is a can of dip that I am going to keep as such for five years to see if the dip is still any good at the end of that. It is in a vacuum seal. Uh, it is well within date. Uh, it is dated for February 26th, 2021. This is the 20th of November, 2020. So it's dated a few months out. I have it marked as October 2020. We'll see. Uh, I'm somewhat, I was thinking about doing a bunch of these. That, that, that was what I wanted to do, just in case something happened like earlier this year. Now, earlier this year during the pandemic, I, I, I was in a tough spot because around me, Stokers is only sold in one tobacco shop and the governor shut tobacco shops down. So during the beginning of the pandemic, I was cut off. The only thing or person that saved me was Haas 304, which has been sourcing for all their review products he was for a couple months there also supplying me for my own personal use if it hadn't been for that i would have well i would have probably been doing you know grizzly dark select or copenhagen straight some along those lines i mean i would have done something but i didn't really want to go that route number one it would be a price jump for me so this is sort of a test idea to see if this stuff can be packaged like this and will it be okay and the moisture still be there. Now, theoretically, in a vacuum seal like this, as long as the vacuum isn't compromised, which is why it's in the jar, theoretically, moisture should stay where it is indefinitely. Uh, now, I do this also with pipe tobacco, and I've done it for years uh, because a lot of people sell their tobacco, uh, pipe tobacco. Pipe tobacco does change. Depending on the blend and whatnot, it does change. It usually becomes stronger, and in a way, that doesn't work for me because I inhale, and when it becomes stronger like that, it, it's almost as if it like ferments. Uh, when it becomes stronger like that, uh, sometimes it becomes difficult to inhale, and since that's sort of my thing when it comes to pipe tobacco, I don't really care for it. This will be interested to see if there's any chemical changes in it, but I'm thinking five years. Now, 
it may come where I only wait three years. And that may very well be because I'm interested to know if it works at all because I would like to do, I don't know, a hundred of these, maybe. Um, now, the rest of this tub are filled up. I think there's seven in total. Uh, I did the Grizzly Colorado cans and I did all the Grizzly Colorado cans and one of the uh, Grizzly, I guess, car cans, you call them, maybe. Um, so I am planning, no matter what, to keep doing limited edition cans because even if it's a product inside the can that I don't care for, doesn't matter. I don't care. It's mostly to protect and keep intact the packaging for those. All right. The, the, the big experiment part is what will this be like some years from now? As I said, I'd like to hold out to five, but at the same time, I sort of need to know if I can like what it's like at two or three, etc. Uh, I am thinking maybe of doing at least a, a roll more of these and trying them at different spaces out. I mean, hopefully, if at a year out, the one's good, it'll be good at a two years out. And it's not like I'll be throwing money to the wind. It'll just be Stoker's dip sort of put on hold. It's just a reserve, basically. So that is the experiment. And we will see. Uh, the most expensive, number one, it's not proven to work yet. So the bags for this, I had run out of my roll. They come in a box, double roll. The, I get the actual Food Saver brand name. And uh, I had run out of the roll on the last pipe tobacco tin that I sealed up. So I had to go buy another roll. The rolls have gone up in price, like a lot. Uh, I got a double roll, like 50 feet a bag. I think it costs like 20 some dollars. So that in my mind is enough to say, don't try this yet until we find out. Um, but theoretically, as I said, it should work. My only thing is, will there be a chemical chain? The moisture should be there. As long as the vacuum seal doesn't get compromised, the moisture theoretically can't go anywhere can't evaporate, can't, it, it can't dry out. The only question in my head is, will it, the, the, will there be a chemical process that goes on with the tobacco? And what will that do? Like, okay, great, the moisture's here, but does it taste awful? Does it burn in the mouth to the point like when a green burn isn't that big of a deal? Something along those lines. So, did I put the, okay, checking if I put the uh, moisture absorber in there. So that is the experiment. Um, as I said, for protection of packages, any limited edition cans that you see me show from here on out will probably have that done to protect the packaging. The Stoker's can for the dip inside, I'll, I'll figure something out. I'll probably do at least a few more and I'll probably open one at a one-year mark, one at a two-year mark. The ideal, though, is that five-year mark. So this has been an experiment brought to you by Suit and Tie, Dip and Chew Guy. I do hope you all are well. Do take care of yourselves. And as always, God bless.